In this session, we're going to have a look at the Python Turtle module. Now, Turtle is a function that we can import, and it gives us a whole lot of code that we can exploit. Now, Turtle allows us to draw on the screen, and it's based upon an old programming language called Turtle. And it's one of the training languages back in the late 80s and early 90s. And so some of the early Pascal programmers would remember this. So let's get underway and have a look at this. So we're going to go create a new project. We're going to call it Turtle. I've already got one there, so I'm just going to overwrite this. And then we're going to right mouse click and go new, and we're going to start a new Python file. And I'm just going to call the 00, zero example. As I go along, I can actually have more examples or you can label them with proper names. Now, what we want to do is use an external module. So this is something that's not in Python, but we need to import it. So we can actually say from um, Turtle, we actually want to import. And what do we want to import? We actually want to bring everything in. So we're actually going to import everything. So we could change that star to particular functions we want to bring in. It'd be something like, you know, like if you're importing the maths module and you just want um, random and ceiling and floor and round, those sorts of things. So in this case here, we're going to bring everything about the turtle module in. And then once we've done that, we can actually run this and I'm going to put a done command in. So at the end, it doesn't close automatically. So let's have a look at this when it works. So we're going to just go down to all the run. And you can see that it's actually opened up a Python screen. I'm just going to resize this into the area that we're looking at. And you can see it's just a blank whiteboard at the moment. And we can actually draw a line. Now, when you start, your, your turtle will be actually pointing to the right and starting at this point right here at sort of like a zero, zero sort of point. So we'll just close that and let's get it to do something. So let's get it to go forward. And what do we want to do when we go forward? Well, I want it to go forward a distance. So I'm going to put in like 200. And I treat it like it's 200 pixels. And then I'm going to hit play. Now you can actually see if I resize this, it'll be in the middle, but so I'm not going to bother about resizing. You can see that it's moved across and is now facing to the right. I can actually get it to face up the screen if I wanted to, but to do that, I've got to turn right around to that. So if I want to go straight up, I'm going to have to go right round. It's 360 degrees, so I'm going to have to go right round to 270, so he's pointing up. And when he's pointing up, I'm going to go forward the same distance to start making a box. It's not very exciting, but it'll give, get the point. So I want to turn right. And I want to turn right towards it, 270 degrees. Now, once I'm facing right 270 degrees, I then want to go forward again. And I want to go forward at 200 again, 200 pixels. And then I'm done. I can push enter and have more lines of code in there. But I just want to do that and see it's working. There it goes. You notice it drove along, did a turn, and then went all the way up again. So if we want to complete a square, we could do the same thing again. I'm pointing up, so I want to now turn right again. So I'm pointing up, I want to go around 270 degrees. So I'm facing this way and then go another 200. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. So when it runs now, you can see it moving again. So I need to go right again, 270 degrees, so I'm pointing down and then go again and I'll stop right here pointing down. And that should give us a completed square. All right. That gives an idea of what you can do. So you can draw some really cool patterns with this as well. But there's also some other things that are inbuilt. So if we wanted to, we could actually put a circle. Now circles are made up of lots and lots of points, but we can actually just give it a circle and then just give it a degrees in there. So say uh, 75, um, sorry, diameter in there, 75. So let's just run this. And you can see that's gone round. Now it's 75 to here. Got to remember this is 200, so it's 140 out to here. So it's got a 75 from this center point here out. So it's 75 that way as well. So we've just done a circle. Now there are other websites you can get some ideas from, but what I want to show you is some complex artwork. So let's go back in, and I'm going to start a new file. So this one here was our example zero zero. And I'm going to go to the next one, new Python file, and I'm going to put O1, and we're going to use a fixed loop to create our box this time. So once again, you need to import a turtle, and then we can go to the next part, 
which is look at a for do loop where we can go for i in range of four because we want to go four times. So this will go one, two, three, four. And what do we want to do in the range? Well, actually, we want to go forward 50. So this box is not going to be as big. It's going to be 50 by 50 by 50. Now, because we're doing it by four, it's always going to be 50 on the side. We also need to make sure it turns 90 degrees. So we're going right 90. So this is going to draw a little bit different to our first example. We're going 270. We went across and up because we're turning right 90, we should go across and down. Now we know that once we finish indenting, that ends the for do loop and we need our little done command at the end so it doesn't close the window on us. So we're ready now to run our program. We need to right mouse click and go down and run the 01 fixed loop and have a look. Oops, sorry, my cursor was over it. So I'll run it one more time. You see that it went across and then down, down, across. Now the good thing about using a fixed loop, if I want to make it the same size as the other one, I could actually turn it to 200. Run the program again, and it's a lot larger. So this gives you an idea of how you can use a loop. We can also do some complex drawings. So I'm just going to create a new file now, another Python file, and I'll call this one 02. complex drawing. Now make sure there's no spaces in your file names. Click on OK. And once again, we need to import and we need to apply some code. So once again, we've imported the turtle module. But this time we're actually going to change the pen color to blue. We're going to be using a for do loop from 1 to 50. But this time we're going to go forward 50 and then we're going to turn left 123 degrees. So we're going to go to the left side rather than the right. We're also then going to rotate through that 50 times. Then we're going to change the pen color. And then for 50 times, we're going to go forward 100, which is double the size here. And we're going to go left 123 again. So this will give us another one as well. So let's have a look at what this creates. And we should actually get some color and also some spirals occurring. So once again, right mouse click, run this file name. You can see that the blue pen is working. And it's going around and it'll do this 50 times. You notice when it gets to about 50, it's the, all the way around. And then it will change colors in a moment. And you can see now the red. Now you can keep adding to this program and actually creating quite a mosaic of different colors and different spirals and coming up with a complex sort of pattern. And you can also Google online about um, Python Turtle and find more commands and create your own shapes.